How's it going guys? Welcome to another episode of Spurverts. You know Spurverts, the show where we talk about everything that's got us absolutely excited to be Spurs fans. I'm joined by Reese James. Big time. I'm Craig Mitch. You guys should know that by now. But let's get on with things. Let's go into the first topic of Spurverts. And the first topic is Spurs beating Reading in a behind yes. closed door friendly. Tell us Smashed a bit about it, Reese. Smashed him. 1-0. Deflected goal from Christian Eriksen. Classic Spurs. I just felt like we wasn't even trying. I mean, we don't take Reading seriously. Don't need to. We don't we don't need to take them seriously. I mean, we showed up in our purple training kit. Yeah, won't even wear the kit. I'll wear the kit for the videos, but we won't even wear the kit for an actual match. Do you think that's like disrespectful towards no. kind of like apparently we did it against South End as well. We're just I think not it's taking badass. It. I oh, think it's you uh, like rule breakers. I think it's yeah, I do. You Rebellious. Know what I do? Rebellious. All right. Uh, That's the why I'm always late. The, <laughs> the next topic of Spurvert is Adebayor. Potentially, he's going to Aston Villa. Could be permanent. Could be loan. Either way, we're excited about it. That's a good thing. You would, if you were Villa, you would want him on loan, wouldn't you? Yeah. Because you don't want to commit. Adebayor's the sort of person you don't want to commit to. Problem is, Adebayor's always really good for one season. Yeah. So they'll take him on loan for a season and go, this guy's brilliant. Yeah. Then they'll sign him, and that's how we trick them. But the thing is, if Sherwood keeps them up, him and Sherwood have got like a relationship. So he could perform for them long term. Yeah, they could do yeah, little salutes, get together, do all of that. But he is a bit unpredictable. He's a bit like me. Yeah, mm. I wouldn't. <laughs> okay. Um, do you want to be compared to Adebayor? I'm not that rebellious, <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah. So how's your relationship with your brother? No, mine is perfect. Okay, yeah, it's not the same. I don't have a brother. Um, yeah, it could be low, it could be permanent. Also, they're talking about taking Tom Carroll permanently. No, not Tom. Yeah, I feel weird about that. We're kind of getting rid of all our central midfielders. We're going to be left with no one. I like Tom Carroll. I think yeah, he, 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 he did well at Swansea. Good I think squad he, player for next yeah, year. Yeah, he seems quite cultured. Decent. Very good on the ball. You know, a maybe, bit of a, low, maybe he could go on loan, but yeah. not permanently. Adebio just needs to go. All right, the I last topic of Spurverts is going to be Stambouli. Benjamin Stambouli, PSG. I've given us six million for the guy. Um, you said you wanted him to stay, remember that? Yeah, I do feel weird about this. Like, like I'm saying about getting rid of all the centre mids. I just think Stambouli is a good rotation player. We're going to be playing a lot of games in Europe, yeah. hopefully. Uh, and loads of cup games and stuff. I just feel like maybe he wasn't really given a chance. We've made a profit on him from him having played hardly at all for, for four, us. sold him for six. So that's Levy. fairly good. It's fairly good from Levy. But Again! I wouldn't have mind, minded keeping him for an extra year. Yeah. See. Midfield's looking a bit... Yeah, right we have to keep Dembele it's bringing now. the spiverted levels a bit down. But let's get them back up again. Still, we made profit two million, and you can find out how we made profit in part two of Spurverts. Reese James is going to be covering that. Make Big sure you time. subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, let us know what's got you spiverted, and we'll see you next time. Hello, welcome back. This is part two of Spurverts. This week, I'm getting pretty spiverted because I'm very excited to find out how we've making all this money on players who are not worth that much money.